Sometimes when you're getting over a bulge you really have to pull on your tools and here I've got such unconsolidated stuff that I've got to take my time to that's a bit better make sure that they're good As you can see, it's really variable. So I have to come back to the previous placement there. So I'm trying to get a tool slightly higher so that I can just do a bit of bridging out on this wall over here. So I can take quite a bit of weight on my feet. And that's the, oh, that's nice. That's the plan. So that feels good. So it's sort of quite a commitment to come on up. Still trying to keep the feet bridging wide apart so you're not really hauling as much on the tools. Sweet. And then obviously any ice bulges are probably gonna be hopefully pretty good. Okay, right then, God for that. So I'm gonna, this looks quite nice ice, possibly. If I can get a screw in it, then I can commit to going onto it. Normally, placing an ice screw, you'd want to have your tools sort of above you be in a really relaxed stance. I always look for little ledges to try and get on before I put, a two, put an ice screw in. And I don't want to be overreaching with my screw. I want to be balanced and pushing it in with my body weight. So ideally if I was putting a screw in here, I'd be sort of putting it in at about, about sort of mid height while I can keep one tool really good. So we can, um, we can have a little go at this, we can have a little look at this ice here, let's check it out, see what it's like. Ah, that's nice. So it's a bit of a stretch that I'm really sort of stretching, I'd rather it be about here. But because of the way the bulge is, I have to try and reach up to the bulge, or I get my feet a little higher first. That's another option. Coming in behind bulges like this is quite, it's a little dangerous because the whole thing could pop off like that. Below! Okay, so that's, that's a good tool in there. I just want to get another tool in. I've parked my tools and I try and get comfortable. There's a bit of ice here. It, it, it's, it's a little higher than I'd like, but you know, it's, it's probably all I've got. I've got such lumpy bumpy ice here today that it's just, you know, not great. So we're going to have a little look and see what happens. Try and keep it in. If you could, and I'm trying to look for where, so somewhere in there would be good, where I've got a fairly a large portion of ice, and it's not too white. It looks like it's dark, so it's not aerated. It's more dense, just about there. As I say, it's, this isn't ideal. I would rather have it a little lower. So I start it off just by doing a little bit of a screw motion, and then just trying to keep my body weight behind it, pushing in once it's started to bite and you've got to make sure that it does bite 
You might need to take it out and clean it a little. Okay, we've got some threads in now. Now I can relax a little and pop her in. Now we don't know if this is going to be any good or not. And I'm feeling for resistance. I want that resistance all the way. So far, so good. So far, really nice. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually. That's not bad. It's good resistance all the way in. Fairly decent core coming through. I'm going to put a short runner on it. And then I always like to just take a bit of a break then before I, before I sort of launch up some steeper ice. You've got gear in, you're in a safe, happy place. So take a break, have a bit of a slight, slight shake out. And then when you commit to the climb, you climb. A lot of people get into trouble, I think. They try to put gear in halfway up the pitch when really they should just focus on the climbing. So you've got good gear in, now you just focus on the climbing, you get the climbing done until you're in another safe place to put the gear in. Okay, so I'm gonna swing out onto this ice and we'll see what we can do. I've got to be careful of this, this bulge on top of me here. If it pops off, then I'm a bit stuffed, so I don't want to whack away at this too much. If it was continental ice, I could quite happily do nice classic one axe in front of the other, but here, because it's not continental ice, I'd rather make sure. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> so it's never good when we get the water coming out like that. Try and, try and relax and stay on your heels. Um, if that was a bomber placement, I would move up on it, but it's not, so I'm going to move up on this one. Oh, that's delightful. It's not bad, it's not great, but it's not bad. We'll try and put something in next to it. I can see that here, I don't have any ice just next to that next axe. I have to go up a little bit. So I have to commit up onto this axe on my right. And just hold myself in and balance and get this up into that there, that next good bit of ice there. Then I'm sorted. I can match those. And now I'm going to come on up to this ledge here. Try and keep my heels low and not rip them out. Oh, below. Nice resting spot. Now, if I had another ice screw and <laughs> we've run out, that would be a great place to put an ice screw. Just here. I've got a great bit of ice. It's at hip height. I'm in a relaxed place. Pop a screw in here. Definitely. Why didn't I bring more screws? <laughs> <laughs>